Hey everybody, it's John D from John D TV. We're back here again at Fairview Square. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the air sealing package. They're in the process today of getting it done, um, but I thought we'd record it while we're here. So <clears throat> once the home is all framed, all the mechanicals are in place, the next step we have to do is we have to air seal, meaning seal all the possible spots that air could leak out of the home through the walls or the floor or the ceiling and fire seal any places where fire could travel up between the floors or through the walls. So we'll look around, you can see some of this orange foam in the wall cavities near me right now. For example, right here, they have the air seal around the perimeter where the sheathing meets the framing in there. So anywhere in the wall, when they have a receptacle box like this, we have to seal all the way around. Um, I'm sure all of you are familiar with older homes uh, on a windy day, you could put your hand right in front of the receptacle and feel air blow through. So part of that, to prevent that is, we actually sealed this entire cavity perfectly, and that way it is protected from any chance of air leakage on either side. So they go around, they seal the top and bottom of the sheathing at the plates. Anywhere there's a receptacle box in place, that entire cavity should be sealed around the perimeter. And then they also, um, when they're finished up here today, they're gonna seal right here, where the plate meets the floor all the way around the building. And they're also going to seal in between multiple stud packs. So anywhere where more than one stud is in place, when there's two, we have to seal this gap. Because behind that little seam there could be a, a gap in the sheathing outside, something like that, and that would allow air to squeeze in. That's of course all code related um, requirements. So we have to make sure they're done. And then additionally, <clears throat> now when you see wires going up into the floor system like this, all of that is being protected for fire travel. So say this box here caught on fire in the wall, unfortunately, or something happened, there was a fire, they wouldn't want that fire to travel up through that home, be able to get anywhere, um, anywhere else. So any place that we have pipes going through, wires, anything like that, you can see up top here, we have foam protecting those openings all around. You can imagine it's a lot of spray foaming going on here when they're doing this. So they'll protect all those areas, they'll go around, and then on the interior walls towards the shaft wall and the other units, you'll see that they'll go about every four feet and seal vertically in between as well so that the air can't travel too far. So when you're here for your pre-drywall meeting, you'll be able to see these areas that they're foamed. Um, all this does get inspected by the building inspector. They have to meet all the requirements to make sure that we're properly sealed. And of course, homes are becoming more and more energy efficient nowadays. And part of that is because every little air pocket is sealed. If you have a, a home that's more than 10 years old, I guarantee it's way more drafty than they become today um, because they are sealing all these tight little areas. Um, and again, make sure that you observe all this air sealing when you're here for your pre-drywall. Some of that will be covered up by insulation bats, but that's okay. Um, the most common people are used to seeing is around doors and windows. You can see we also have that foam in here. On each side, that's the common, people go to Lowe's all the time and buy foam, spray foam. They're the common areas. But again, they're not used to seeing these areas within the walls sealed. And that is a newer code um, over the past few years that that requirements come about. And so when you walk in, don't be surprised when you see literally hundreds of feet of spray foam in the house. So we're getting ready. They're gonna insulate next and put the fiberglass insulation back in as needed. And then we're gonna follow right up with drywall. So we're moving along quite quickly. I'm excited to show you guys as we get into the finishing stages of the home. And um, I look forward to continuing to travel through the process of this build with you. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on air, air sealing and uh, make sure you're nice and warm this winter. I hope you have a great day.